to deliver our development objectives, we have increased the capital expenditure portion of the budget from 557 billion naira in the 2015 budget to 1.8 trillion naira in the 2016 budget. Distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly, for the first time in many years, capital expenditure will represent 30% of our total budget. In future years, we intend to raise the percentage allocation for capital expenditure. This is a fulfillment of our promise to align expenditure to our long-term objectives and assign of government's commitment to sustainable development. This increased capital expenditure commits significant resources to critical sectors such as works, power, house, 433.4 billion, transport, 202 billion naira, social intervention programs, 200 billion naira, defense, 134.6 billion naira, and interior, 53.1 billion naira. These investments in infrastructure and security are meant to support our reforms in the agriculture, soil minerals, and other core job creating sectors of our economy. We will invest to safeguard lives and property. We will invest in equipping our farmers with the right tools, technology, and techniques. We will invest in empowering and enabling our miners to operate in a safe, secure, and humane environment. We will invest in training our youth through the revival of our technical and vocational institutions to ensure they are competent enough to see the opportunities that will arise from this economic revival. Indeed, the future looks bright. And I ask that we all work together to make this vision a reality. The 223% year-on-year growth in capital expenditure demonstrates our desire to make Nigeria more competitive and start the journey to deliver sustainable development in our country. In fulfillment, of our promise to run a lean government, we have proposed a 9% reduction in non-debt recurrent expenditure from 2.59 trillion naira in the 2015 budget to 2.35 trillion in 2016 budget. Furthermore, we have budgeted 300 million naira for social intervention programs which takes the total amount for non debt recurrent expenditure to 2.65 trillion naira. As I mentioned earlier, the efficiency unit set up by this administration together with effective implementation of government integrated financial management and integrated personnel payroll and information system will drive a reduction of overheads by at least 7%, personal costs by 8%, and other service-wide votes by 19%. Distinguished honorable members, this budget will be executed to provide optimum value by ensuring every naira spent by this government counts. We will, we will devote a significant portion of our current expenditure to institutions that provide government services. We will spend 369.6 billion in education, 294.5 billion in defense, 221.7 billion in health, 
and 145.3 billion in the Ministry of Interior. This will ensure our teachers, our forces personnel, doctors, nurses, policemen, firefighters, prison service officers, and many more critical service providers are fed competitively and on time.